This week, I'm pretty sure we discovered the Dark Lord of the Scam himself. It's not pretty, but it is awesome. This episode of Scam School is the magical gift brought to you by Squarespace and Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at www.audiblepodcast.com slash scam school. As you might know, clean water is one of the scarcest resources in the world. We need it to survive, and yet nearly a billion people don't have access to it. So we've partnered with Charity Water to help make a difference. Charity Water gives 100% of the money it raises to building wells and bringing clean water to communities in need. Every show on Revision 3 is reaching out to you guys to help raise money to build wells. It takes $5,000 to build a well that will give water to an entire village. So head on over to mycharitywater.org slash scam school campaign to learn more and get involved for the cause. Welcome to the show that's like the secret love child of John Dillinger and Lindsay Lohan. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week, not only do I get to hang out with Revision 3's own Dylan Hart, but we discover a man who may, in fact, be our new mentor and dark master of scamming. Dude, this is awesome. Hanging out with the household hacker, Dylan Hart himself. Now, uh, what, Scientific Tuesday is on yes, Revision sir. 3? Yes, Scientific Tuesday. What is the elevator pitch that you would give for Scientific Tuesdays? Well, it's basically a show where we try and give people a way to do science at home. Stuff that might explode, might not. And if it is going to explode, we'll tell you not to do it at home. However, I like the fact that you put on the salesman voice and you did I, I the salesman you. band. I got that's, that's why you I did it. I'm a voiceover man. Well, here's the thing. I had a first time ever happening occur tonight. We showed up for a scam school shoot and no lie, the guy who runs this joint knows more about scamming than I do. This guy has been in the biz for forever and he took my book, went right through it, knew every single scam of the book and like a million I had never heard of before. He said he's got two that he wants to show us. I've never seen him before. What do you say? You want to come along? I want to see this. All right, done and done. I don't think it could be possible. Well, well, we're going to find out, sir. I tell you what. This is what happened. I show up and Chuck is, is running the show here at uh, it's Lefty O'Doul's is where Lefty we're at, right? And you have been tending bar for how long? Oh, since 68. No lie, I gave this man my copy of Cheats, Cons, Swindles, and Tricks, 57 Ways to Scam a Free Drink. And he walked through every page like, oh yeah, no, I know that one. I know, you know the variation on this one? What? Oh, you know the one that came before this one, right? Like, you've been doing this for forever. You know all the tricks. Well, if you're young, yes. How do you do this? Okay. First, you find a virgin. <laughs> that then, would be me. Yes. <laughs> then, then you Definitely. heat a bottle. Okay. With? Now the way. Now, first of all, you said it's got to have just a little bit of something in it, just right? Just a little either tequila or vodka, best. Something around 40 percent alcohol, yeah. eighty yeah. proof. That's fine. Uh, anything higher than that doesn't work too well. Okay. For some reason. And so you said have, you heat it up. The way you heat it up, you said throw it in the dishwasher. I stick it in the dishwasher, or if you immerse it in extremely hot water, like you're behind a bar in the sinks, right. and you just hold it in there for about thirty seconds. Okay. So you said about one hundred and eighty degrees, yeah. really hot water. Yeah, got really it. Hot. Okay. Then, when you get the virgin right. to <laughs> hold on to this, to that. Yeah. <laughs> this this is a rooster. This is not what you think it is. Okay. 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 All right. So you hold on to the bottle tightly. All right. And make sure it doesn't move. All and right. we're going to restore your virginity right here. Thank you. Thank now, you. We're going to very slowly. I'll be born again. Right? Yes. Yeah. Parts of you will be born again. Excellent. We're Let's very do it. very slowly. We are going to release the cover on this. See, right. what I love is that you know enough about science, so you have no idea what's in this or what's been vaporized or whatever, so you're clearly and very on guard. We are going to put in a religious guess. symbol for your virginity right here. Oh, okay. Fair enough. And then if you squeeze hard enough... Squeeze. Go squeeze. Dylan. I'm squeezing. You gotta I squeeze. See, it's glass, though. I, I, see, can't, I can't do I wanna it. I want to see white knuckles. All okay, right. you've got it. And it's we like when I'm flying. To, you already got them flinching, sure. Gradually, we are going to pray and pray that this works and that your virginity will be restored. Holy oh, God. my goodness. <laughs> you may go and tell good. people you are once again a virgin. I liked it. I liked it. That was it. How delightfully symbolic. That was freaking awesome. That was amazing. Okay, look, we're going to find out how this one works, but you've got another one you wanted to show us. But first, we have to thank our sponsors. Dude, that was freaking awesome. That was great. <laughs> 
Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any kind of website. With blog tools that allow for iPhone updating while you're on the road, hassle-free importing of sites from other environments, they've got kick-ass robust stats, and so much more. Squarespace makes it super easy for anyone to build out and maintain a site that you could only dream of on other platforms. And if you do have CSS experience, Squarespace lets you jump into the code and customize things even further. Look, everybody knows, anybody who's anyone on the internet is already jumping over to Squarespace. The only question is, why haven't you jumped? It's getting better day by day. Head on over to squarespace.com and get your free 14-day trial, and they won't even use a credit card for you to sign up. But when you do sign up, make sure to use promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout. SCAMSCHOOL, all one word. Not only will you get 10% off the lifetime of your order, but you'll be keeping us in business. And that's a good thing. That was freaking awesome. Thank but before you. we even started, the moment we came in, you said, oh, well, you know about the Polish rocket, right? What the hell are you talking about? What is this Polish rocket? Well, this is the reason that the Polish have never been in space. <laughs> Great, now we're offending all the Poles out there. We apologize in advance. Basically, you take a simple napkin, you fold it in, turn it around and fold it into the center again, making sure it's square. Then, picking it up gingerly and placing it together like so. So you make a, you overlap two of those a folds. triangular column okay, that there is go. sealed. What you're doing is you're going to light the three corners of the thing at the top okay. quickly. And if you stand... We're going to block, block, block the wind. We're blocking the wind. I'm trying to block even my breath. So right now... Now hopefully if you It wait, looks like nothing's happening. And wait. Wait for it, wait for it. So it, far, not impressed. It doesn't. Nothing's taking off. It doesn't happen overnight, but. Oh, there goes oh, the wait a minute. rocket. Wait a minute, they're all going Oh up. my goodness. <laughs> right. Dude, that's awesome. It's great because you watch, you watch it go down and nothing and nothing happens. And it's and all then, over me. And then it just dusts all up over yes. the ceiling. <laughs> that's the best now, part. Uh, you, I don't know if the camera's caught it, but it went all the way up to the ceiling. You had yeah. pieces going all the way up. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, gang, let's talk about Audible. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75 thousand titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, played back anytime, anywhere. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Here's the best part. Head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash scam school and you get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. 100% free, dude. Head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash scam school for your free audiobook. And you know who I recommend? I recommend you check out Born Standing up written and narrated by steve martin it's totally unabridged and if you have ever wondered what it's like to pay your dues to get started in performing and magic and comedy in being an entertainer this absolutely nails it it's a story of how steve martin started at age 10 selling guidebooks at disneyland and ended up with the biggest concert draw in the history of stand-up by 1978 more importantly why he walked away from stand-up afterwards and the best part is it's totally free head on over there all right, we got two kick-ass tricks, which seriously impressed the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Why does this work, and what are the specifics if somebody wants to try it at home? Obviously, this may be, this one, a little rocket engine, maybe a little bit dangerous. It, you don't want to be too close to the business end of it. So, like, I mean, I would imagine that if, if you lit it, and it was hitting at, at your face, it would, your, oh. your face, your eyebrows, your hair. Or if you put your fingers right over the end of it and drop the match in, you will vaporize the skin on your fingers and you will have nice third degree burns. Have you have you seen that happen? Have you yes, seen people... I have seen that happen. Skin turns very white and then in about three days it falls off. Uh, okay. How do you think I learned that this happened? Maybe we should have considered this before we decided to teach this <laughs> on a game school. Always wear safety gloves. There you, you know? go, yes. there you go. And goggles. Exactly. You know? Of course. Only that much in there, no more than that. So that's about what? Uh, would you say what, a teaspoon? Ten, going? No, no. Ah, a tenth of an ounce. A tenth of an ounce. No there more. you go. That's what I was going to say before we wrap it up. <laughs> because you've got to eat it with a There are different ways. You said it mainly, mainly you've got to heat it up to create that, that vapor, that oxygen fuel mix. When you open it, you open it very, very slowly so that the heated gas doesn't all come out all at once. 
You have to equalize the pressure between outside and inside. Like when you open a soda and it goes pss and all the air when goes you open, out. When you shake up a beer and open it. Exactly, yes. exactly. The expansion. Exactly. So you open it. And so I noticed that you wrapped your fingers all the way around. Was that partly so you could feel that exact moment when it goes pss? I can feel the pressure coming out that way. Okay. Then a toothpick, round, okay. preferable. As, uh, as opposed to like the square ones. Well, square ones have a tendency not to be too sturdy and break. Okay. Then that wants to go through the straw, perpendicular. Okay. And then that drops in and you want to drop it in away from it. So okay. that there is space behind for the trusty lefty duals match. Now, to go does in. it matter? Does it matter? Like if it's lopsided, will it shoot off to the side? Yes, or, oh, really? It oh. will. If you put it in at an angle, it will go that way. Okay. Since we're dealing with people at home, I think it's important to say, first of all, don't try this at home. You're going to set your face on fire. If you do, make sure that you deal with proper safety precautions the entire time. And by the way, did you miss the part about the third degree burns? And you would you would probably like to have a cathedral ceiling. If you've got a, an eight or nine foot ceiling with uh, acoustic tile, right? this will embed itself in the tile. So you're saying not only do we run the risk of third degree burns, but there's a good chance we could poke an eye out with this. And if it's your mom's house, you, she could poke your She'll eye out. She'll poke your yeah. eye out. It's <laughs> right. okay, awesome. Then the match, this is all just sort of suspense and building up. It most certainly was suspenseful to for everything. me. So then dropping it in from the side, so that is how to launch a straw out of a glass of vodka or tequila. But what was what's the deal with the, the Polish rocket? That's suction and heat lighter than air. Dylan could explain it much more diligently than I could. <laughs> well, I, I would just imagine once it's burning down, you know, there, all the oxygen's releasing and it makes a suction just at the end sort of pops up. And then the heat continues to rise because then it's mostly ash and that makes it primarily lighter than the surface because of the heat, almost like a Japanese paper lantern. Oh, that's right. This is just the heat in the ash makes it lighter than the surrounding air. But specifically, you were saying that you needed to have a tight seal at the bottom. The reason being is because you got all this hot air sucking all of the oxygen and all of the air out of the bottom. So you have a low pressure area. And at that moment when the fire gets to the bottom, that's when all of a sudden, the high pressure sucks yeah. in and blows the whole thing out. And the, if you notice, if you look at the bottom of it here, when you light it, it'll be fine. And as it progressively burns towards the bottom, those sides will actually suck in. Oh, I can see it. Like that gap just see? appeared as it's trying to suck in the air. As it's coming in. Sucking it in the oxygen. Just... This is the part that always surprised me because it looks like a failure. And then... I don't know where. Look at that, all the way up to the freaking ceiling. Yes. That's like 15 feet up there. <laughs> That's awesome. But if you have any kind of draft, it's not gonna work. Yeah, okay. So in this case, we actually disabled the AC. We turned off some of the fans so that we were able to get that straight current on up. Dude, that was awesome. Chuck, <laughs> you're a freaking legend. You're the oh, Yoda dude. of bar scams from <laughs> now on. I'm gonna go great. back to Chuck. Thank you Thank so you. much, man. That was awesome. My pleasure. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> Not only do we want to give a huge thanks for the expertise of Chuck and all the folks over at Left Field Duels, but we want to say thanks so much for the chance to hang out with Dylan. Make sure to check out his DIY hacks and insane experiments at youtube.com slash household hacker. Now, if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com, but I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so hit me up at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school, where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school or find out when I'm in your hometown for spontaneous meetups or live online workshops by following me at twitter.com slash schwood. Next week though, I'm gonna hit up Dylan and we're gonna teach you how to make your own pair of night vision goggles using nothing but an infrared heat lamp and one of those green visors. Pretty sure that'll work. It's very highly scientific. I don't expect you to understand it. It's, it's science, bitches! What are you trying to say? You trying to say something? You got something you... What is that? 
Come on, Jader. But we discover a man who may in fact be our new mentor and dark master of scamming himself. Check it out. <laughs> but anyway, this was not the uh, this is not the bar. This is uh, a bank of some variety. Revision 3's own Dylan Hart, but we discover a man who may have, god damn it, are you serious?